Hello friends, you all are welcome to uh, my channel. In uh, this specific video, I'm going to tell you uh, a specific concept of artificial intelligent, that is, what are intelligent agents? So guys, in a, a, a lot of time, whenever you will study or whenever you will get some information about artificial intelligence, a lot of time you will heard this concept agent. So first of all, we all have to know what an agent is or what we call an intelligent agent, right? So if we define an agent, we will normally say an agent is anything that can perceive its environment through sensors and act upon that environment through effectors. Generally, an environment could be any place where we are, uh, where the agent is. Say, if the agent is inside a room, that room will be its environment. If it is in a playground, the playground will be its environment and so on. So an agent is someone, what he, what it is doing is, it is basically perceiving its environment. Okay, there, mo there must be some sensors in that agent and through that sensor, that agent is uh, perceiving, is getting some information from the environment and then it is acting upon, uh, it is performing some action on the same environment from which it is uh, perceiving some input, from where it is getting some input. Okay, let's see some examples of agents. A human could be an agent. If a human is an agent, in that case, uh, what will be its perceptors? What will be its sensors? Then we'll say eyes, ears, nose, tongue, skin. These are parallel to sensors. Basically, through these organs, humans are getting information from the environment. Or we can say, he is perceiving its environment through these sensors. And the same time, some other organs such as hands, legs, mouth, these are working as effectors, as actuators. Means, through these organs, humans are performing action on the environment. The second agent could be a robotic agent. Now, robotic agent replaces cameras and infrared range finders for sensors, through which it is perceiving its environment through cameras, through sensors, through infrared. What the robot is doing, it is perceiving the whole environment. It is getting input through, uh, from the environment through these sensors. And when it is getting this information, how it is performing action over the environment? Through various motors and actuators. It could be wheels, it could be any motor that is being implemented inside the machine, through which that robot is performing action on the environment. And the third example could be a software agent. Same as other agents, a software agent can perceive its environment through say we are saying we could have some cameras on the system we could send some information through the keyboard we can send some information through joystick or through mouse or so on we could have a lot of devices by which we can send information as input to the software agent and after perceiving that environment after perceiving that input what the software agent is doing it is performing some action how by showing it on uh, the screen or by writing it to the file okay or it could perform some other actions as as is being provided as it being get uh, as per the instructions that we are giving to that software agent right so we can say that an agent could be a human being it could be a robotic agent it could be a software agent it could be any machine or anything by which uh, or any machine that is perceiving that is getting input from the environment through some sensors and then performing some action on the same environment through some actuators or effectors. Now, let's see an example over here. This is basically a diagram which is showing that an agent is getting some information to through percepts and then performing some actions over the environment through actuators. Okay, so let's see. Let's say we have uh, a room as an environment. Uh, the room is suppose dirty room it do have dust here and there in that room 
and uh, our agent our intelligent agent is a vacuum cleaner so we will see the vacuum cleaner as intelligent agent when it will perceive its environment it will see where the dust is okay it will perceive perceive the whole room it will see where the dust is through sensors through cameras and so on then it will see how the world what the world is like now it will see that at the left side or at the right side there are some dust okay so then through its database it will it will check through some if then rules that what it should do say it has to turn right it has to turn left and it will perform that action through the actuators in that case it could be the wheels through wheels it will turn towards left or right and move towards the dust and in second case again through sensors it will check it out that now dust is in its reachability and its action will be to suck that dust in it that it will do that through some other actuators so in that case if it is performing this that means we will say that that uh, vacuum cleaner is an intelligent agent okay next about the classes uh, basically these agents have been classified into five different classes by russell and norwick these five classes has been categorized based on their degree of perceived intelligence and capability that how intelligently they are perceiving the input and how intelligently they are performing the actions on the environment say the vacuum cleaner could clean the whole room or it could clean some specific part of the room in that case we can classify into different agent these five classes are simple reflex agents model based reflex agents goal based agents utility based agents and learning agents now what these agents do or how we can categorize them how we can give definition of these specific agents that we will discuss in our upcoming video so it is recommended or i request please watch that video also so that you could get the idea of different agents very clearly so guys thank you very much for listening Please like and subscribe for more videos.